To invite you today to become a UNIP ambassador, a goodwill ambassador, is something that we are very honored by, Giselle, because in many ways you are a person who is known in virtually every country and corner of this world. But you are also taking today a role that is very much a role that has to do with getting people to understand how important it is that whoever we are, wherever we work and may be, we have to become involved. Giselle, how do you feel today? And why did you decide to do this for us? What is the motivating factor? Closer, please. The motivating factor is my heart. Because you know what, this is deep, deep in my heart. You know, sometimes you just know something and it's like, I just feel like this is something that I'm so passionate about. You know, I grew up from in a small town in the south of Brazil and I'm like, immersed in nature and uh, all my life and and just the thought of like the world changing and I'm not doing anything about it it makes me crazy I can't live like this you know so I decided like anything I can do that is in my power to bring awareness to make a difference because this is the most precious thing we have is our planet I gotta do something about it. I'm not gonna sit there and watch the whole world falling apart and you know so so I feel like extremely passionate about this I am so honored to be here today. I'm so honored of being part of a, such a wonderful organization, you know, as the UN is. And I, I just feel very excited and happy that it's like, I want to just like put up my sleeves and go on to work. That's how I feel. We are honored. <laughs> Thank you. It's well, my pleasure. Okay. How are we going to produce less emission, you know, so new technology um, for us to have less of an impact than we have? Because we can't stop living. I mean, we need cars, we need, but there is forms of creating different forms to invest in new energy and I think that economically is going to make the world grow and us as people to come together and say you know what we are united we are one Viva! in New York this week the world is meeting as you have said to discuss climate change at the highest political level the Secretary General of the United Nations has invited heads of state and government to come to New York because just two months from now the world will either take a step in the right direction or in Copenhagen, Denmark, may face one of its greatest failures in human history in trying to come together around this challenge. 